Okay, today we are talking about Oculus virtual reality headsets. And so, of course, the, the, the granddaddy of headsets is the Oculus Rift. And this has been on the market since uh, the summer of 2016 and is probably the most deployed HMD virtual reality headset in the United States and perhaps the world. So, this is the original Oculus Rift. It's an amazing device and as you can see, it's what we call tethered. So it has a, has a cable and that cable runs to a graphics computer, also considered a gaming computer. It also has these two lamps right here and, and these lamps allow the headset to be oriented so that it, it understands where you are. So if you turn, you look up, you look down, it's gaining information and data from these lamps so it knows how to orient you in your virtual reality experience. Now, this is a great device. It offers what's called six degrees of freedom, meaning you can look up, down, around, move around, and you can move around in the space. You could walk toward a, an object, you could walk around in your space. That's six degrees of freedom. The, the challenge with it is that it it's, can be somewhat expensive. Generally, the headset and the lamps are gonna cost around $400. The gaming computer, if you get a desktop, they're going to start around $800, but usually you're going to spend between $800 and $1,100. If you get a laptop like this one, they're generally going to be between $1,100 and $1,500 for, for a, a, having the right type of chip, which is usually about an NVIDIA 1060 chip, which, which we consider to be ideal. Now, so this is the desktop version of virtual reality. Having said that, there is another option that Oculus came out with May 1st. This is known as the Oculus Go. And so this device, as you can see, has no cables and it is a lot less expensive. All in, the consumer version of this is going to run $200 and the commercial version with the full 12 month warranty and a larger chip is going to run at about $300. So the consumer version you can buy online from Oculus or Newegg or Best Buy, uh, and the consumer version uh, you can get from us, uh, the, excuse me, the commercial version you can get from us or some other vendors online, and, and those become available next month in July. Now, what's the difference? So if, if it's a lot less expensive, you're probably giving up a few things, and, and, and that would be right. So this has three degrees of freedom. So you're gonna be able to look up and down and back and forth and, and be immersed in your environment like, like the larger Oculus Rift. But the big difference is that it has three degrees of freedom rather than six degrees of freedom. So I'm not gonna be able to walk around in my space. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to look underneath a table. And so it's, it's a very good virtual reality experience. People are amazed when they see it, but it's not quite the completely immersed uh, six degrees of freedom, six DOF virtual reality experience. Having said that, for the difference in price, we believe that, that this is going to open up a lot of opportunities for uh, cash strap schools that, uh, or, or maybe uh, homes, parents that wanna try this out for tutoring for their children and, and maybe they only wanna uh, step dip their toe in the water with $200. So, so that's a great opportunity for consumers and it's a great way to try virtual reality without having to go all in on the more expensive units. So equivalent to this, there are some other units that we'll talk about later. There's the HTC Vive, there's the Windows Mixed Reality device and more equivalent to this is the uh, Vive Focus which will go on sale in the United States sometime here in 2018. It's gonna be more expensive, probably 600 to $700, and it will have six degrees of freedom, but it will also be untethered. So the computer and everything will be contained within the headset, just like the Oculus Go. So that's a quick look at virtual reality hardware as it stands today. Thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time.